Updating tonight's breaking news now, oil from the ruptured BP offshore well is now approaching the shore in Louisiana's Mississippi's Delta, home to hundreds of species of wildlife. Uh, the slick, 120 miles wide. The undersea leaks feeding it, still uncapped. Efforts to stop the flow have failed. Well owner BP with no choice but to shoulder responsibility. The federal response is massive and growing, and President Obama is now in a politically awkward spot for his decision last month to permit more drilling offshore. Take a listen. Under the leadership of Secretary Salazar, we'll employ new technologies that reduce the impact of oil exploration. We'll protect areas that are vital to tourism, the environment, and our national security. And we'll be guided not by political ideology, but by scientific evidence. That's why my administration will consider potential areas for development in the Mid and South Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico, while studying and protecting se sensitive areas in the Arctic. Now you heard it there, and earlier we got an email from a prominent critic of offshore drilling and BP. To say it got our attention doesn't do it justice. It certainly got us the man who wrote it, historian Douglas Brinkley, a spot on the program tonight. His latest book, The Wilderness Warrior, Theodore Roosevelt and the Crusade for America. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me, Sanjay. Uh, you just uh, heard from President Obama there, and, and he's also said that BP is ultimately responsible for funding the cost of the response and the cleanup. Uh, as we know, it's, it's something known as the Oil Pollution Act. But that doesn't mean the administration had judged the firm as negligent. And they were specific at, about that. Are, are they negligent? Is, is this firm negligent? Well, we're going to find out. It really looks like it. First off, BP has had a horrific response. They, they, they did deal with the fact that you had a blast. They're not talking about the environmental end game here. They basically have gone undercover and started doing a blame game on the oil rig company instead of taking frontal responsibility for this. You know, British Petroleum in 2006 had the worst cracked pipes in the north slope of of Alaska, the EPA and the FBI have been breathing down mm. BP's neck. So uh, this looks like uh, where you're going to be hearing the word British Petroleum in an ugly way right now. It is not the flower symbol of their logo. It's been a it's been a company in the last few years that have been cutting a lot of corners when it, it, it deals with safety issues. You're pretty fired up about this, and and, I, and we we told them you, know, you you were going to be talking to us tonight, and we have a statement from them as well. I want to read it to you, David, and okay. get your response. Uh, when BP plans any activity, drilling or otherwise, in addition to all the required permitting for our plans, we also carry out full environmental impact assessments, examining our planned activities in detail, looking at their potential impacts on the environment, and doing all we can to minimize them. The detailed planning includes plans for response to any unexpected incidents. I guess that's what they're talking about now, uh, David. What, what's your reaction no, to that statement? It's, it's Doug, but um, all you have to do is look at um, Alaska and what they've done up there and what happened in 2006. They also, here in Texas, 2005 had the Texas City British um, blow up where people died. British Petroleum is going to be responsible t for 10 national wildlife refuges run by U.S. Fish and Wildlife of a cornucopia of wildlife, beautiful beaches, salt marshes, sandy barrier islands. It's a home of black skinners. It's the largest mm -hmm. turned colony in the United States. And it's uh, it, to, to be sh not stepping forward and talking about the wildlife cost, what's going to happen to the economy of Louisiana now, and to be doing the kind of mealy mouth statement you just read tells me that British Petroleum is, is going to be in deeper trouble in this days come because they're not facing the consequences of what the company's responsible for. You, you know a fair amount about this industry, uh, Doug. And, and, you know, one thing, when you talk about the rigs, you talk about the company itself, uh, BP CEO Tony Hayward has laid blame on Transocean, saying, saying basically it, it's their rig, it's their equipment, it's their people, their systems, their safety processes. I mean, does he have a point in that at all? Of course, and they're also hired by British Petroleum. Both of them are going to be culpable for this. The problem is we've had a lot of drill baby drill, and it's spill baby spill. Hmm. People have been telling American people that offshore drilling is dangerous. What we've heard is, oh, well, it's changed. There's new technology. We're now green. British Petroleum's logo said, therefore, beyond petroleum. What's new energy about this? It's dirty oil devastating communities in Louisiana and killing some of our richest wildlife areas. Some of these wildlife places Theodore Roosevelt saved. President Roosevelt went down there. Yeah. He camped there and we're going to be you're going to be seeing devastation in wildlife in the coming days almost unimaginable.
You've seen, uh, uh, you've, you've written about this, seen pictures uh, certainly of him in that area as well. A uh, uh, lot more on this, I'm sure, in the days to come. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Douglas Brinkley, appreciate Thank it. Thank you. No problem.